Right, another day, another video. And today, what I want to talk about is the PS4 Pro and how to get rid of HDCP without turning it off in the settings. And anyone watching my videos knows that I did a video before talking about how to do this with the Xbox One S. And it's exactly the same procedure, basically. What you need is a splitter. And I'll put a link in for this splitter because not all splitters will do the job. Now, you have to understand that they can revise these splitters at any time. So they may work or they may not. But that's the splitter. Let's have a look, there you go. Can you see it? That's the back of it, not much to see. There's a few bits and pieces on there that you need, won't need to change. There's your in and out and power and so on and so forth. And there's your HDMI ins and outs. Now, what you need to do, obviously, is with your PS4, you've got your HDMI going out. And from there, rather than going out to your television or out to your amp, which some people are, I am, you need to go through the splitter first. So you need another HDMI lead. And what you do is the out from the PS4 Pro goes to the in on this and then the out from this either out one or two doesn't matter which one you use goes out to your TV or your amp and that's basically it it's a simple job PS4 to splitter splitter to TV or amp. And that's it basically. But let's go and have a look and see if it works. So I'm gonna cut and I'll be back in a bit. Right, we're back. First thing I have to say is apologies for the picture. Basically that's because at the moment I can't use my capture device because I'm trying to show you the output in 4K and my capture device will set the system back to outputting 1080p. I'm going to have a look at my normal television in a moment and I'll do that with the capture device. But for the time being I'm using my camcorder so that I can show you that the output is working perfectly with my projector. So first thing we we'll want to have a look at is see our settings. And go into settings and then go down to sound and screen and video output settings and video output information. And if you look on there, it's 3840 by 2160. So that's fine. But if you go out of here now, at the moment, I've still got HDCP turned off. So if I go into Netflix, there you go, we'll get an error. So how do you get around that? Well, obviously, we want to turn HDCP back on. And the way you do that is obviously go into system at the bottom of settings, should be down here somewhere. There you go, system. And if you look at that, HDCP is turned off. We want to turn it back on and okay that. And wait until the PlayStation 4 catches itself up and there you go. So now if we go out of there and we try Netflix now, Netflix will load up and there you go we're in Netflix and we can get ultra HD 4k out of it and everything so that's all working perfectly but what happens when you want to try and use your capture device or you want to use a television like with me you want to use a television that's 1080p well let's go in and have a look at that I'm gonna cut from the camera and go back to my capture device and we can have a look and see how it works with the normal television. Right, we're back again. And I'm now outputting the PS4 Pro to my 1080p television, and I'm also capturing it using my Hallport capture device, which captures in 1080p as well. So let's just go and have a look at the settings and see how everything is set up. And we wanna go from settings down to sound and screen. And from there, video output settings 
and video output information. And if you look on there, it's outputting at 1920 by 1080. And if you look at HDCP, it says 2.2, which is interesting because my television doesn't take HDCP 2.2 and I should be getting an HDCP 2.2 error. But as you can see, I'm not. But if we go back out of here, let's just go and check and make sure that HDCP is actually turned on. It should be because it's showing there. So if you go into system and then enable HDCP and as you can see that is turned on. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go in and we want to see if things like Netflix will actually work for us. And it's all gone in perfectly well. So there you go. Everything's working perfectly well. And there's no problems there. And just to show you that it is actually working, let's see what should we go into quickly. Obviously I can't show you much of this, but there you go. And it is working. And that's that. Okay, so we're back out. And as you can see, I can capture, I can play Netflix. Everything's working perfectly well. Now I will add that Obviously, my purpose in doing this is not so that you can capture things like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video and stuff like that. The whole purpose of doing this is to show that you can set it up so that your PS4 will work as normal and you can still capture game footage and you can also use your PS4 with a 1080p television and then switch it between 1080p and 4K without having to mess around with settings. And all you need to do is put a splitter in between. A splitter that will do HDCP 2.2. So if you're interested in doing that or you've got a TV that is not HDCP 2.2 capable and you want to be setting up so it works properly, this might be a solution for you. Hopefully that's been some use to you guys. I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea now and I will speak to you in the next one. Bye.